The singing style of Chris Martin from Coldplay. I've enjoyed Coldplay for many years, and I'm especially into their newest album. It's one of those albums that you have to listen to from start to finish with headphones on. (laughs) One of the things I really appreciate about Chris Martin's voice, whether he thinks about this or not, he really does a good job of consolidating resonances. Not to say that you don't hear him sing in pure head voice or pure chest voice, but he has this one voice sound across his entire range. He sounds natural, dynamic, has a healthy amount of intensity when he wants to, yet there's this sense that he's always fairly relaxed as he's delivering his melodies. I like that vibe, and of course it works perfectly with the music behind him. Now just a quick reminder, and I say this on all my Sing Like videos in one form or another, we're not going to try to imitate or sound like Chris Martin. We're going to take cues from how he approaches certain lines and we're going to practice singing like him, much like an athlete will uh, adapt to a particular exercise routine from someone they look up to. We're never going to look like that person, but we are going to train like them. And that's what we're trying to do here. Glean and be inspired, glean from and be inspired by their voice. And one more thing, if you want to get a solid foundation for how singing mechanics are supposed to work, breath support, how to harness your energy to sing freely with your voice, be sure to click the link below and join my free vocal course. All right, let's get going. First example. Now in the morning I sleep alone. Now in the morning I sleep alone. The name of the game here is placement. Again, he's probably not thinking a ton about what he's doing. And honestly, you shouldn't be. Once you learn how to do things right, you kind of put everything over here and then just sing. But we're going to unpack it so that we can eventually put it over here and just sing. Listen to where he brightens up. Now in the morning I sleep alone. Now in the morning I sleep alone. He's got this overarching forward bright sound the whole time and it's accentuated on sleep, right? Let's let's get there. Now in the morning I, no, 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 now we're going to add just a little bit of what you've heard me refer to in the Tom York video as the sedated witch, or we can also think about this as a tiny bit of dying cat. Ow, ow get you same kind of thing slightly different approach but we're going to be in lower a uh, lower register here and exercising a very moderate version of those whereas other vocalists now in the morning i sleep alone that would be maybe the correct or proper way to you know sing with open throat but we can still do that and have this forward attacking the mic sort of sound, which is what makes Chris Martin's voice pop. Now in the morning, now in the morning, now we're going to darken up so lower larynx, but we're going to... This is a function of adding compression. Now in the morning, I sleep alone. Now in the morning I sleep alone. This allows us to be bright and dark at the same time, which is exactly how I would describe Chris Martin's voice. If you haven't watched any of my other videos on the channel on compression, be sure to do that. This is a very key component. How he uses compression is very key uh, to his sound. Next. Singing. 
singing, 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 very nasal. Sing. That's going to go through mostly his nose. Listen. Singing. Singing. And then he ends with that N, that good closure with his tongue on the N. Singing. Feel that resonant resonance in the front of your face. That's what you're hearing on mic. Singing. Is that resonance coming out from the front of your face. If you swallow that. Singing. You don't, you don't get that same sense of... Uh, presence on the mic. Now he enters into his head resonance here, which is just beautiful. He starts with a little bit of fry. Singing. Feel that in. Singing. I'm embellishing a little bit, but that's the way it goes, right? Singing. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold back air like that. So it's it's the same uh, way that we would compress our voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we're going to start by holding back air as if we're underwater and then gradually fry into the note. and then be free with it. Next. Now here, we're approaching that note with a hard onset. Oh, oh, oh. And then being breathy with it. So we want complete closure from our area above our vocal cords. Oh. And then we want to actually reclose our vocal cords a little bit. We don't want to uh, have have uh, less closure with our actual vocal cords here. Th that would sound like what I just did. Oh, or we're letting air through. That'll dry out our cords and we run out of breath. Instead, we want to hold back air. So we're stopped uh, like that. Let the note out and then close them a little bit, but not to the point of fry. In other words, we don't want to do this. Uh, we don't want that, but we want to use the area above our vocal cords to get the breathiness, as opposed to just shoving a bunch of air through our, our primary vocal folds. Uh, hear the rasp? Hear the airiness there? That's the difference, as opposed to... Uh, very different. One of them's coming from letting too much air through our cords. The other one is good chord closure in our head resonance with the proper amount of holding back air and moderating airflow with the area above our voice box. Next. Else this one's great because he starts in head re or chest resonance no, with that good, bright, yet dark sound. No, no. And then he intentionally breaks. You've seen me do teach on how to do this and how to be cognizant of how we're going between our different resonances in other videos. Nothing else compares. Now, he is starting on sort of an arbitrary pitch. No. I would say if I was going to think pitch, I would nah, I'd think that note. But if you listen carefully, it's actually, nah, it's a little below that. That's okay. And then he breaks into his head voice for just nah. And then on thing, he's in his chest voice again. And it's very obvious that he's doing this. Nothing else compares. Now that compares is a perfect example of what we talked about a little bit earlier, where he is, he's actually pushing quite a bit. He's holding air back using compression. In other words, it's not compares. No, he's open. He's bright with a little bit of that sedated witch sound. Nothing. But mild, open, lower larynx position. 
compare. But what gets him that sheen is the amount of compression he's using. Let me take it to an extreme. Compares. That's an interesting sound. We don't want to do it to the point of grit. We just want to do it to the point of sheen. That's the best way to think about it. Nothing else compares. Versus nothing else compares. There's a big difference. It allows me to have more intensity in the note without getting necessarily louder, but it sounds more powerful. Again, that's done by holding back air with the area above your vocal folds. Next. Look at the stars. Ooh. Very, very relaxed. Look at the stars. Now, this is a middle voice, and I'm using the words middle voice instead of mixed voice, although you could use them somewhat interchangeably, and it doesn't really matter. This is just a way to describe what I'm what I feel. Here we are in Look at the stars in chest voice. Look at the stars. Especially at the end, you can hear stars really resonate. Look at the stars. But there's this breathiness and lightness to it. Part of that is how he's holding his face. Look at the stars. But there's this this in-between sort of resonance that he's got going on here that is obtained by the following. We are going to uh, do a less extreme version of what I've talked about before in a Freddie Mercury video, which is the crow. Okay, so crawl, crawl. Some people would refer to this as twang, twang. I'm a country singer, twang. Look at the star, star. Let's really exaggerate this for a minute. Look at the star. We're going to add lots of uh, support, lots of breath support. And then we're going to use compression again, but we're going to ah, focus on the sound going through our nasal passage primarily. We want to feel it going through our nasal passage. Look at the stars. Look at the stars. Look at the star. As opposed to, look at the star. Look at the star. Two extremes, right? Somewhere in the middle is where he's landing. But it's a nasal sound. It's a crow sound. And he's on, he's using the amount of air that allows him to teeter on possibly breaking if he, if he let more air through. So, Look at the star. <laughs> I, if I'm exploiting my break, that's how that would sound. Look at the star. But he instead is going to focus on this crow sound and hold back air and be, ju be just on the point of breaking, but has enough control to leave it there. That's where that light ending comes on each one of the notes. Look at the star, look at the stars, look at the stars. Next. Look how they shine for you. Now here, we can get a solid contrast between this sort of middle crow. Look how they shine. Look how, look how they shine, look how they shine for, and pure head voice. Look how they shine for you. Look how they shine for. Now even there, for, for, crow, for, instead of for, for, uh, it's it's focusing on the nasal passage, that nasal resonance. Look how they shine for you. For you. For you. Look at the stars. Look how they shine for you. 
Now, if I'm going to make this my own, so I don't, I'm not sounding like I'm doing a poor imitation, I'm going to keep that, I'm going to keep that sort of sound. I'm going to relax even more. Look at the stars, how they shine for you. And I'm going to back off on crow and place it a little bit less in my nasal passage and do a blend of what I would do naturally and what I'm gleaning from what he's doing. Next. It was called yellow. Now this is something that Chris Martin does really well. It's this sort of talk singing in his lower area. Now listen again to his tone. It was called ka, not ka, ka, ka. It's mild, but it's there. And it was called. And it was called. And it was called. Very forward. This is this is belted. It was called. And it was called. Called. And it was called. Called. As opposed to cold, 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 called. Compression. And then listen to yellow. And it was called yellow. Yellow. Sliding down in the pitch. And it was called yellow. Yellow, yellow. Fun thing to be able to do to slide between pitches. He does this really well. And it was called yellow. And it was called yellow. And it was called yellow. He does it. Was I, I keep wanting to center on that pitch in a way that he doesn't. And it was called crow. And it was called yellow. Now, the, the amount of compression uh, and and witch and crow that are being blended together in a moderate way is what's giving him his tone. And again, he's not thinking about this stuff. This is how he is naturally felt inspired to sing for whatever reason. And it sounds wonderful. We all have our own baggage, our own influences that affect how we shape our own tone. But by thinking in these extreme ways, we can adapt from others' tone. Next. Would I be would I be on the silver screen? Now for me, this means adding just enough compression to get again that sheen, that bright sheen between that and a little bit higher larynx position, but only adding enough compression to get the sheen and not crossing over into grit or, um, you know, hyper compression. Would I be, which would be my tendency if I'm going overboard. Would I be on the silver? That's not really what we're going for. Would I be? Would I be on the silver screen? And then having everything super loose as we're singing that. Would I be on the silver screen? Including his diction is incredibly loose. Next. I wanna tear me apart. Classic Chris Martin line. Wanna tear me apart. This is a very forward done, forward sung line. Very belted. There is a healthy amount of compression, but the main thing that's getting him his tone here is his is his placement. And you've heard me talk about this in other videos, this invisible ball of energy in the front of your mouth. It allows you to feel resonance behind your teeth in the front of your mouth. Uh, and not get caught up in the sound being trapped inside the rest of your body. And so if we listen to what he's doing here, I wanna tear, tear, just that note. Tear, feel it in your nose, feel it vibrate in your nose, feel it vibrate in the front of your face. I wanna tear. Now the other thing he's doing is he's scooping up to that tear in a, in a subtle way. It's not wanna tear. It's not like that. This is allowing him to bring in this lower tone, this lower sort of resonance, and then center on the pitch. This is different than thinking up on a pitch and not down on it. We always want to be thinking down on a pitch, right? But what we're doing is we're thinking up in terms of borrowing from our lower resonance while simultaneously thinking down on the pitch. Who wanna tear me apart? And apart, even though te and apart are slightly different sounding, 
we still have that very forward ball of energy in the front of our face. Next. Okay. What we're really doing here is we're, we're looking at that. Hey, 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 oh. This is sort of an extension of the last line and it's getting that, that resonance placed right in the midst of all the other balances we've been discussing. That very subtle blend of sedated witch, dying cat, and belt. Hey, hey. Now he's also incorporating a hard onset here. So he's not scooping. Hey, hey, hey. No. He's holding back air, like the same one you'd use to go underwater, the same mechanism you'd use to go underwater. Hey! And then releasing. Hey! And then as soon as we're doing that, we are, again, with this mild crow sound, we're channeling air through our nasal passage, and we're conscious of that. And the side effects of what happens sound-wise are that we get a warmer, uh, less bright sound, but are still able to get a bright sound. Hey! 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 Nasal is open. Hey! Hey! As opposed to closed off. Hey! 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 It allows us to be more free with our airflow. Hey! 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 Thanks for the multiple suggestions and requests for Chris Martin. That's exactly why this video got made. Keep suggesting other vocalists, your favorite vocalists, if I haven't made a video for them already, and the ones with the most requests, get a video. Also, again, be sure to join my free vocal course to take your voice to the next level. Get a solid foundation for building the voice you've always wanted. We'll see you for more.